its stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt! For the dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless... What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the Riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Well... Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Something to read? We're blind. Oh, how is she not getting that? Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were, like, weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more! Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Bye! <laughs> Sense you later. Check it out! Fruit! No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside! Oh my god! It's so simple! Why didn't we get that? Oh man! That's been bugging us all day! But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. I'm going in. Okay.
mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey. You found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this. Give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into Chrysalation, to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. This spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops! Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here. And I don't need a search beam for that. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light from my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? 
The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from Steel Bunting, I'm sure you're not gonna need it. Come to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Is this your secret stink for attracting Mog Chathra? Uh, it's my grandmother's traditional cocktail of musk, pheromones, and animal sweat. And I'm not sharing it with anybody. Well, I don't need it anyway. Daddy says I exude it naturally. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the Maidens' Feast? I want to be in the Maidens' Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Ha, not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chathra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Hey, can I have some of your beast hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. See you maidens later. Ciao! Ciao. Uh, angry sea. Uh, let's try it again, Clarence. Hey, you guys need some driftwood for your costumes? Oh, yeah! Then we could hang some macrame from it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me up there? <laughs> Ugh. Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. <laughs> Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mob Chathra about you, Drusilla. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you look like a mayor. Mmm, 
I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds, with a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. When is Mob Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves.